Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about constructing a polynomial function from a graph or a given the intercepts. This will involve using a lot of the knowledge that we had when we graphed functions using the multiplicities and the intercepts, but we'll flip it around this time and take the information we're given to come up with an algebraic function. So this time I'm going to go ahead and give you the graph and say construct a polynomial for your graph and we're going to leave these in factor form so we're not going to multiply them out. So what I want to notice is I have a 0 at negative 3, I have a 0 at positive 2, and I have a 0 at positive 5. At 5 it is crossing, so I know this is going to be odd. At 2 it is touching, so there's an even multiplicity. And then at negative 3 it is also crossing, which says I'll have another odd exponent. So I'm starting off with f of x is equal to, I have x plus 3, I'm just going to leave it as power 1, x minus 2, which I'm going to say is power 2 because it's touching, and then x minus 5 because it's crossing. Now this time I do want to say there could be some kind of coefficient at the beginning. So what I'm going to do to figure out this coefficient is I'm going to plug in 0 because I know that f of 0 is negative 2 according to the graph. So if I plug in 0, I get a times 0 plus 3, 0 minus 2 squared, and 0 minus 5. This is supposed to be equal to negative 2. So f of 0 is a times 3 times 4 times negative 5. 3 times 4 times negative 5 gives me negative 60 times a is negative 2. So a is negative 2 over negative 60, which gives me 1 over 30. So I can solve for the coefficient by using some other information. Sometimes it's the y-intercept, sometimes it might be just another point that we're given. So here, f of x is equal to positive 1 over 30, x plus 3, x minus 2 squared, and x minus 5. So let's try that again. When I look at this graph, I can see I have an intercept at negative 3, an intercept at negative 1, and an intercept at 2. In each case, I can see that it's crossing the graph, which is the multiplicity is odd. To make it easy, I'm just going to let that be equal to 1. So I have these three zeros with multiplicities equal to 1. I do notice it is falling on the right, which tells me there is going to be a negative coefficient for this function, and how I'm going to figure that out is I will use the y-intercept of f of 0 is positive 6, and that's going to help me find that leading coefficient. So we'll start by saying f of x is going to look like a times x plus 3, x plus 1, and x minus 2. Let's put the 0 in. So f of 0 is a times 0 plus 3, 0 plus 1, and 0 minus 2, and that's supposed to be a positive 6. So 3 times 1 times negative 2, that says negative 6a is 6, a here is negative 1. The negative 1 does what we want it to, it makes it fall to the right. Overall, I can see my multiplicities 1, 1, and 1 give me a degree of 3. That degree of 3 agrees with the graph where it has opposite in behavior. So let's write our final answer, f of x is negative x plus 3, x plus 1, and x minus 2. Let's try that one more time. I have this graph that kind of looks like a m. First thing I notice, falling to the right, I'm going to have a negative leading coefficient. The n behaviors match, so that says that this should be an even function. So my degree is going to be 2, 4, 6, something like that. So let's go through and look at each of the intercepts. I have a 4, it crosses, a 3, it crosses, negative 2 crosses, negative 3 crosses. So I have these four numbers, which we can write as x plus 3, x plus 2, x minus 3, and x minus 4. So there are my factors. That will be f of x, and I know I have some kind of leading coefficient, and like the other times, we use the intercept to find it. So we say f of 0 is a times 0 plus 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0 minus 4, and that's negative 3. 
So I have 3 times 2 times negative 3 times negative 4. All together, I have 72a is negative 3. So we'll divide. I get a is negative 3 over 72, which is negative 1 over 24. My overall function is f of x is negative 1 over 24, x plus 3, x plus 2, x minus 3, and then x minus 4. We're going to do the same thing, but this time instead of giving you a graph, I'm just going to give you the information. We're going to construct a function with degree 5 that has roots of multiplicity 2 at 3 and negative 4, and a root of multiplicity 1 at x equals 1. We also know that the y-intercept is 0, 18. So this feels kind of like the same thing, except before we were pulling all of this information out of the graph, now I'm just giving it to you. So we can start with f of x is equal to a, because I don't know the leading coefficient. I have x minus 3, but that's multiplicity 2. I have x plus 4, also multiplicity 2. And then x minus 1, which is multiplicity 1. If I plug in 0, I have a, 0 minus 3 squared, 0 plus 4 squared, and 0 minus 1, and that's supposed to be 18. This looks like a times 9 times 16 times negative 1 is 18. The 9 times 16 times negative 1 gives me negative 144. So to get a, I take 18 over negative 144, which reduces down to negative 1 over 8. I have f of x is equal to negative 1 over 8, x minus 3 squared, x plus 4 squared, and x minus 1. So we're going to do one more. This time, instead of giving you an intercept, I'm just giving you a point. So I have a function with degree 4. It has roots of multiplicity 2 at negative 2, and then roots of multiplicity 1 at 0, 3, and 1, and it contains the point 436. So f of x looks like a. You should start them all with a, right? And then I have x plus 2, power 2. I have just x, that's the x minus 0. I have x minus 3, and I have x minus 1. This time it says if you plug in 4, I have a times 4 plus 2 squared. I have 4. I have 4 minus 3. I have 4 minus 1 and that's supposed to be 36. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 squared is 36. I just have 4. 4 minus 3 is 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. This is supposed to be 36. This together gives me 432 times a is 36. So a is 36 over 432 which works out really nicely to 1 over 12. Maybe try dividing like 432 by 36 or just look for common factors until you get this fraction reduced. Now I'm ready to put in my whole answer. f of x is 1 over 12. It's x plus 2 squared. It is x, x minus 3, and x minus 1. So I'm not going to ask you to multiply this out. That's a lot of work. I just want it left in factor form. So I hope that helps as we continue to talk about these polynomial functions. Good luck.